All right. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam wa ala rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma la ilma lana illa ma'allamtana fa'allimna ma yanfa'una wa fa'ala ma'allamtana wa zidna ilman. To ten there is Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Wa yu atsubu this is uku wa antina say tulifinna. I'm genu wa fuwida wa murindi lidi. I think people have been waiting for you, Shekhet. And without further ado, you should say salam to them before you proceed. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm so happy to be with you here. Thank you for the honor, Ashraf. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is, it is an honor to have uh, accepted our invitation. Yeah. Well, like we promised, all of you probably saw the ad. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the corporate Muslim eye, which is an interesting topic, and I chose the best for that, uh, mm -hmm. with Shekhat Hosna. Uh, Shekhar Hosna is going to tell us about herself uh, just for the start, then we shall be telling you how we're going to handle the session. We're here for like one hour, inshallah, unless you people choose to keep us uh, for a longer time. People have begun to come in. Matovo Wahab, Musa, thanks for being here. Wa alaikum as salam. Uh, Mawanda Fahad, thanks for being here. Wa alaikum as salam. Uh, so, Shekhar, who is uh, Shekhar Hosna? Oh, okay, <laughs> you know me better. You should introduce me. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I like I like you have already mentioned. I am Natunda Husna. I am a, a mature woman <laughs> with the son. <laughs> I, <laughs> I went to Muslim schools. Uh, I went to Bilal particularly for my HSC. I went to very humble schools. I went to Bombay State as well. I went to Macquarie University, Industrial and Organizational Psychology. And then I joined the workforce. I taught uh, for some time. And then I joined uh, professional uh, uh, professional workforce. Like I started with roofing, rolling mills. That is uh, roofing's, group, roofing's Group as an assistant manager. But before then, I was in South Africa teaching. And then I also worked in, in WFP as an intern. But um, currently, I am working with Luca Plastics at the head of the human resources. Uh, been working for now nearly 10 years, I should say. Uh, but I, I was very lucky that I joined in for at least some Makua uh, or managerial roles that, of course, have earned me maybe some mileage. Yeah, that's me. But I also have um, upgraded my studies. I am um, I've upgraded with um, Uganda Management Institute that is in management studies, and then I also uh, worked. Uh, I've also done, that is the postgraduate diploma, and then I'm currently working on my master's thesis with uh, management science, human resources, and I hope, inshallah, I can be able to complete. That's me. Thank you yeah. very much. Uh, it has been very brief, but uh, you've said it all, mashallah. We're glad to have, uh, uh, you, you look very young, by the way, and you are very young because I've Whoa. known you for some time. To, to be all that. Someone would wonder, how have you achieved that? Because before we talk about um, the life of a Muslim, you are being looked at as a, one of the role models, one of the young rising stars in the Muslim world. I would love to understand how did you maintain focus to okay. have achieved all this at this young age? Okay. I... I shouldn't say I'm very young. At least I am old. <laughs> I'm old, but um, I want to take one step at a time. I want everything, uh, every day to matter. I must accomplish something at a given stage. Uh, if it is not actively working to accomplish some of the things, if I can do two things, work and study, I let it be. Or if I can be a mother and work, that also works for me. So. But I also want to know that I inspire someone out there and I should keep up the looks, <laughs> keep up the faces. I, I have to ensure that I am someone, some somebody is going to admire out there. 
and I keep up to date. Like I don't want to wear out and like, oh, who's now Mulaba right now? No, I don't want that. I want to keep looking good, eat well, okay. exercise <laughs> some of the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great, great. So, uh, Sheket, okay. we have um, something very serious mm. in the Muslim world. Mm. And I see you've been working and you've worked in companies. Yes. First of all, when we look at our topic, which is the corporate Muslim, I don't think we can exhaustively uh, tackle this uh, topic in just one hour. But I would no. love you to introduce us to the word corporate. What is corporate? Because our viewers <laughs> would really wish to know what corporate is. Then you can tell yeah. us a little bit about the life of a Muslim, a practicing Muslim in, 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 in the corporate world. Okay. Um, I've seen platforms, of course, some of them were there. They use the word corporate, corporate Muslims. I don't know whether the same context I understand is how they look at it, but uh, basically how I would define it context in contextually, uh, it's people working, okay? People getting something done, getting a business move or grow, or people in leadership position, or people running governments, that, that, that is how we look at the word corporate world, okay? So, but grammatically corporate is like people who are together, like corporate or cooperative or something, things which are united, okay? So the word corporate when used to in a corporate, corporate Muslim, you're looking at a Muslim, but you said Muslim, and then means a Muslim woman, okay? Mm. So when you say corporate Muslim, it can embed all. But when you qualify it and say corporate Muslim, you're meaning a Muslim woman. Now, that is something that you have to pay attention to. There are many things enfolded in one, a woman and a Muslim. Mm -hmm. So we need to define also those two, working woman and then a working Muslim woman. Whether it is in a business, whether it is in um, a formal enterprise, whether it is in leadership role, whether it is in, um, what can I say, influence, a position of influence, that is a corporate Muslim. Now, when we have a Muslim woman, that is a corporate Muslim. And uh, trust me, that is a topic that you want to talk about and understand very well, okay? So, uh, to start with, a Muslim, a, a Muslim woman in a corporate world, or even a woman alone, it has been a debate for ages. A debate that has taken many papers. Some have been solved, others have not been solved. Affirmative action. Eh, we need this. You have heard those things. Yeah. But uh, the debate is still on. When you go in the US, it is still on. And then sometimes it is a woman and then a minor, a minor uh, race. Because now Muslims, you will see that is also a race that is looked at as a minor race. Uh, but Muslim also, we have had our own debate. A Muslim working, a Muslim woman working. We have also had our own debate that we might agree or disagree. Okay, you, when you look at the major schools of thought, some will say, no, a woman is supposed to sit at home. And then uh, you will see the contemporary thoughts are saying, no, you have misinterpreted this. So that is something that also we need to look at at the right time. But by definition, I think that is what we are looking at. And the challenges I think that we are facing as, as women and Muslim women in this uh, area. Yes. OK. Oh, well, 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 thank you very much. I wish I'll use, I think, both languages because I know our people are what? Should we say what? Tribalistic, <laughs> racist? I have not uh, yeah. uh, brought mm. you from, from no. some foreign land. No. <laughs> from Barara. So, Uganda, Romania, I don't know about Yes. 
Yeah, or or you are Judging from what you've said, mm. we are looking at a woman mm. in in the workplace, mm. in the corporate world. Mm. I mean, if we speak uh, the language of um, uh, of business and and companies, mm. you have been in companies for a while now, mm. and you have been a woman and a Muslim woman. Mm. Mm. What would you say has been your experience in in, mm. in summary? Sure, because we need to look at the challenges, but in general, what would you look? Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, okay. and, and the other thing is, uh, uh, maybe you will, you will help us understand how Islam looks at a woman when it comes okay. to work. Uh, I think that is the best way to start the debate. Yeah. Now, um, in the beginning, and in the form, formal training that we have had, those who were not lucky enough did not get the exposure of understanding how we actually look at this thing. But uh, there are ayats in the Quran that you will read, and when look at, looked at plainly, you will say that you know a woman is supposed to to sit at home. For example, regime. If you read Wakarna Wala it's, mm -hmm. it's instructing the women to sit at home in Balimekwe Jamia. You get it? They mm -hmm. they cover up and stay home. And then you look at another ayah, uh, Arijal in Surah Tun Nisa. Arijal kawamuna ala nisa bima fadal Allahu baadum ala baad. Now, some people, the word kawamuna, abachala, abamu bachi, 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 bachi interpreting anga waga mambu, abachala. Abami, basukuru bakubachi, wachara. Abalala, never gamba. It is authority. Have authority over uh, women, but contextually, it is they are like protectors. They are supposed to stand firm for women. Bima fadda Allahu baadhu malabad because of how they look and what they have given. Physically, men are stronger than women. You get it, and then what they gave in in, uh, in form of mahari and wealth so in protection it means you stand firm for this lady you feed them you look after them you know that is the plain meaning of the ayah and it is does not mean to offend any woman in any way to say that omshara aliwansiwachi woman when you look at some of the narrations that have been made some of the narrations also put women down they are the historical context of how this was uh, made for example when they say that rasulullah said uh, that a nation shall not succeed if it is led by a woman they do not look at the context or the context in which the prophet made that assertion. Okay, and that is how uh, the the contemporary thought thinkers have said you need to reevaluate and interpret these uh, some of these narrations. And then there was another one that puts women so much down, and it says in nahun nakiswat al akil wadin, right? That they, but like intellectually they are, you know, that okay. one puts them far away from, you know, from the table of thinkers. You are not supposed even to be there, but uh, they are not supposed to be looked at plainly. They put Islam Islam down. They destroy the true meaning of of Islam. When the Prophet came, he elevated the position of woman in Islam. Some of the ayah in the Quran. Even the word Sadaka is followed on a man. It is followed on a woman who is working. And they will all get there. So it means that there is also a qualification of women working somewhere. 
okay and look at aisha if we are nakasat al akri wadin ngo bongo abachala butono how do the prophet say that you muje edini am we half of your din on this woman referring mm -hmm. to to say how mm -hmm. look at this, this the, the, the the narrations that bukhari ne muslim that, that they picked from aisha um, about oh, over 300 they picked from her and they were true tazali mungu no ba kulikwe for anything no they were picked and they were true Look at Hafsa. Mchala wana Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But when you look at the status of the women today, and even in other countries, you will find that Abachala wana 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 the religion at home has been dominated i mean dominantly or dominated by the the, the males mm. the men mm. and and mm. i ask you to implore young girls and the women to really learn their mm. din because a man can understand but until he is not a <laughs> he is just a man there is mm. a point at which he will have to stop now mm. for example i was uh, there is a book we we like we're explaining mm. Imam Ibn Rajab. Surprisingly, mm. introduction, there is a Zainab. One of the mm. teachers of that is called Ibn Rajab al Hambad, there is a Zainab. And they mentioned yes, her yes. as one of the teachers. So it mm. seems like mm. we got it wrong. I don't know why, but I think we got mm. it wrong. Kubanga Abamajibat, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, like that. Chumchala, any, mm. any less. And the scholars, mm. it seems like to, to our school, because Ibn Rajab is not, these, these are high mm. caliber now. Yes, 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 yes. So I think we went from my challenge. Enlightenment, yes. It is enlightenment, enlightenment that our people need. And on the pulpit, what we need, the Kubituti, it is when I to do so message to do with the equal attention. Abachara Valley and Mabega Wall Timbe, Naboba Berenga very comfortable that Islam actually recognized our status, network, network chance. Abachala mobile platforms, like, thank you for giving me this platform that I was able even to share the little that I can give. But Abachala, uh, better, if you recognize this, we have no problem. Let me give you an example of the of the lady president of Indonesia. There was a lady president in, 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 in Indonesia. Yaitamu, nebo yaitamu, neba soka neba mugana, mukazi takule imbira. Okay, for one year, never take a common to Omulala until they got problems with the president. They put there, never mind, never eat on chair. Never could embed in Yaka Jetan. Okay, never go. Never got your child was there, Gaba could embed, Abakas Bandi said, but they're in positions of influence. And that was in Ovalava, they're on platforms. Bawa, you ilm, I tell good ilm, by the way, it is researched ilm. So they need a platform. And, and and they need to be applauded until they can equally contribute. And when they as long as they're in the confines of the law, they, they don't exceed where they are supposed to stop, then there is no issue. And 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 then when we all agree on the, the principle, then let us regulate in Ojetuba Sindika. Okay, mm -hmm. let us regulate in and yes, this is how it is going to apply. First of all, when you want to do this, this is how you have to do it. So we talk about that. The, the debate should not be on why a woman is going out to work. Okay? Mm -hmm. When she's going to stay at home, then you have obligation that you must fulfill. And if you don't fulfill it, then the law catches up with you. Great. Great. Yeah, Thank you very much. I, I like the way you're mm -hmm. bringing in a new narrative. Like the, Our debate in the mainstream should not be whether she should work or not, whether mm -hmm. she's less or not, whether she's, I mean, we should put that behind us. Mm -hmm. The point is, how can we like make life better? Yeah. For the Muslim out there. Yes, and, and like out there, saying, what should we prepared to to be prepared to meet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, talking about what we should be prepared to meet, I think this is the point where you have to tell us about the status of the Muslim in the corporate world, because even yeah. the people who say who argue mm -hmm. that you should not go out there have their authentic reasons mm. like 
out there is hostile for you. Now, how, how about you tell us, in your own opinion, Chichie Chikenda Maso Kusai Ye? Nekati, wabuzibu kwa tulina bachara, tuine wabuzibu yoku wanga tuya women. Before we are Muslims, we are women. There is a big problem. What does that even mean? We are marginalized, generally, to see again. there and then the old boy network when we go out at the position you get it so when you look at the status today abachala batini okay bagezeza ko kalenze wanu wimanye uganda abachala abasidamu okay there has been generally before i speak about muslim there has been a deliberate effort by the government, including our cousins, especially by this regime. And why? <laughs> Let me tell you, these ladies have a significant professional experience. You need to go to school, first of all, because she's a mother. Omishara, I know experience Jaitamu, Eetago Bugumi Kiriza, Eetago Kroosenyo, Eetago Kunacharinga, some of those values that you will find very important in our businesses. For example, Omchala Mugumi Kiriza, they are very patient with the Lord. They will not just give up. They will, they have even the personal maturity. Akula Mangu, because of what life has, has uh, life ex exposes them to certain experiences that require them to have a level of maturity and they have undergone that way at a very young age you agree that you cannot marry a woman of your age because most of the time you say ah jacklos and you're very faster than me that is what they say i i heard some people say those things because they saw but uh they have those values personal maturity they have desire for new challenges. Like, and the same. So, it is within women to, to want to see new things. They want new challenges. So, those three values are very important for business, for, for workplaces to grow, and yet they are not tapped at babera batono ere bizibuge tulina nga abachala nti they are looked at there are some deficiency katingo gamant you know naturally like menstruation like uh, pregnancy like uh, health wise abachala they go through those but abasajjo lusi bwa labo mkazaga ha how old is she before you know it matano leave before you know those things, eh? but they're not focusing at, at other things. So they marginalize them somehow, and they feel maybe they're emotional in a way, and they will not be able to withstand, they will not cope. So they will always prefer, in the boardroom, you will always see men dominating the discussions. A few, few, few people, but in Uganda here, at least bambi bageza ko the in the chitongo le chitwala employers there is um the, we call it a federation of uganda employers they have there's been a deliberate effort of training our workers mu board you know like okubera board experience ngotula mu board naba mine mu discussing achin kanyi nga they don't underlook you as a woman maybe people are going to there is a problem already if you go to Muslim woman, subhanallah, tell me how many do you know? In the positions of leadership, handfuls. I remember my teacher, uh, those are the women, Muslims. Why? What is the problem? You get 
fifth. Ataba na ngaba soma ba sida mama sumero gaba sida manji na bisunza has done a good job training young women. You understand? But you you will look at the quality of a Nabisunsa student of a guy. Do they have the, the values of a good Muslim or a good person? You understand the two things. I think the training, I, I don't know, but my friends that I have uh, interacted with, I think it's Baba Wa Ebetu. You choose to be a good citizen or a good uh, Muslim, uh, unlike a student who will be daddy. The true values, okay? But they have not given you the other life skills. That exposure that you need. And this is the challenge I have posed to my teachers. Whenever I see them, I tell them there is something missing that you need to give our students such that they don't get uh, life shock. They have a culture shock, actually. So this is what is in the society. Where do they get lost from? The, you hear the buttons. Where do they get lost Where Where is the problem? So there is an issue about, uh, and, and you know, it starts way from our homes. Okay? Omana bo wokulango mulagida choices. No mgamba, you know this is what you're supposed to do. This is orina kulo kolechino. Ya ku kwing the business ya chitao. You cannot go in that world. Ababa ukenda kola wa. You have to go to this school. You can't go to this school. You obasalida wa basalida wa they are timid. They cannot think. They cannot think and say, I want to be like this. They have no role models. You understand? Those are the issues that we have to because they are few. What is the problem at the workplace? And these are the things that we need to discuss. Where does the problem start from? Okay? Yeah. Because yeah. that is what is, is, is there. I, I think even viewers will agree with me that especially this, this regime now, it is no longer something that we are looking for. But in yeah. the 2000s, in 1999, Biali was the work for Naba and Wabebika, Nibagina Masetan, the Kiro, Nibasoma, Nibafumanga, Wachevika, even a baby Ali Zibu. Never got to Balava. Now, how do they harness this to be encouraging to, to go further, to strive further, to aspire for better? How do we encourage them and uh, and, and uplift the, the, their status here and also be looked? To the Mekube rubber takers. For me, uh, when I was exiting politics, someone told me, ah, you, 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 you're a coward. I go, no, I'm not a coward. Politics is everywhere. Wherever I will go, I'll find politics. And I, I will I will influence. Wherever I go, let me change something, but every anywhere where I feel comfortable. If this I don't feel comfortable with, let me quit it, but get somewhere where I am comfortable. So we need to aspire for better. Now, I think that is the discussion. Yeah, thank you very much. There is a very wonderful question you posed, and I would love to really uh, reinforce and mm. re, 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 uh, post this question. Shekhar has said, where do the girls go? Mm. Where can't we see them? That is very important. Where does mm. a Muslim lady get mm. lost from? And that is important for, for all of us to address. Not mm. only I and uh, my guest, Sheikh mm. Husna, but also the audience would love to hear from mm. you. What happens to the Muslim ladies, those ones who mm. are usually even stronger in, in schools? So what is out there? Mm. But before we dive into the challenges that uh, you face, like mm. one by one, and see what to do about that, I'd love to mm. let, let you know, Auntie Kumukut Kurikawa and Banji, many Marshall. women are here. I think uh, Valengila could that. Uh, no, no, no. This is the first thing time I'm using this thing. I don't want even to touch it, and I get lost. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. okay. And uh, I see Zulaika is saying. Yeah. Uh, I like the topic, mashallah. Now we, um, now it's a new mewa. Hmm. I think people are not willing to help, so we end up. Hmm locking ourselves in the house okay i think we shall be addressing that thing of uh 
uh, being yes, yes. Made in the area. Yes. Uh, and uh, there's another comment from Brother Mutebi. Uh, let me try to put it on screen and see. Um, Sheikh, mm. are you there? Yes, uh, I Mutebi, am there. You can look at uh, your screen, you will see that Islam uplifted the status of a Muslim a woman. Islam is the only religion that quotes yeah. women as many hadiths narrated. For ex and this is true, by the way. Yes, I like, I like men giving me that right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, Alhamdulillah, I think we have uh, men coming up to stand in. Yes. And uh, like mm -hmm. Shekhar has uh, really emphasized, the debate mm. shouldn't be that old debate that has mm. been about mm. and mm. unfortunately we still have amongst us and respectively i would love to disagree with my colleagues the sheikhs we need to change mm. the way we teach yes. we cannot fire a, a, a young girl a young lady mm. uh, as men just mm. as men she mm. needs to see role models she needs to have role models among us the muslim the muslimas to be able to address this you have mm. someone mona uh, amina mm. uh saying uh what did she say the way many are nurtured from uh, mm. from their homes well, i think they they, they, have they, they have this, yeah self-esteem we that, that is a wonderful contribution sister mona mm. now my hajara is like marriage I think she's mm. trying to tell us, Ajara, what happens after to a, to a Muslim. Mm. Marriage, mm. business, and contradicting Islamic teachings like women not supposed to work, that's it. Mm. So yeah. she, she's saying that this is where women get lost, the Muslims. Um, yeah. Mona is saying most women, most Muslim ladies, because they have discovered who they are mm. in early stages of growth. Mm. They freeze among the less I privilege. Yeah, that is where we are going. I think we should go ahead and then we bring this to light as well. And these, I think these contributions will also be like a supplements for the discussion. Yeah, I, I think the, the audience is pushing us to the next point. The next <laughs> yes. about. I saw someone was wondering, Turi Kuchiwano, and uh, I, I wish to remind those who have just joined in, mm. we are talking about a Muslim, and by Muslim mm. I mean a Muslim woman, but at work, mm. in the yes. corporate work. Mm. Who is she? Mm. And what are the challenges? How can we address these challenges? How can we make the environment better for her so we see her mm. like grow and, and give back to the community just like anyone else? We are not forgetting yeah. men, but mm. I thought at Husna being a shekat and a corporate Muslima, one of the few, she would be fit for this topic and alhamdulillah I'm not regretting at all. I think we should continue shekat. Okay. Um, I think now we want to discuss what happens with the young women when they come to the workplaces. Okay, in my experiences, in my experience, this is what I have. First, I have had a discussion with a few Muslim friends and the non-Muslim friends and we're discussing about the same. I wanted to contextualize this so that it's not only what I think, but also what others have seen. Some of our, what is happening now is that when we get out of these contemporary schools, uh, that we take our children in Muslim schools without life skills. I sit on interviews. And I look at the quality of our students sometimes from our schools, because of course, whereas recruitment is deliberate, but when uh, is on merit, but when you see a Muslim vying for the same as a Muslim, you pick interest and you want to tap into the skills yeah, and yeah. you want to know the Muslim can do this, you know, why not? If I am in the position, no triggering woman our form siramu into the contemporary skills of to the Balinanga to the Banga. But the problem, Mavana they cannot even talk about themselves. They cannot express themselves. And uh, like someone mentioned here in the comments, it starts from home. Abana was a Macabana Bemi go if they try to, to talk. <laughs> Check out. 
I am telling you, why let me go for something reasonable, but let people be able to express themselves. Let them talk, let them have open debates. But but look, and you see now, this is an English country, like we were colonized by 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 the Englishmen. They speak English. These people can not. Some of them, they cannot express themselves. In. And this is the first step towards getting employment in Uganda. When I went to Gombe SS, uh, my friends can bear witness. And we started the serious debates, and people were like, ah, she's coming from Nabisunsa. That is what they thought. But I was coming from Bidari, Islamic Institute. But in Bidari, I actively participated. I, um, I made a deliberate effort to actively participate in the literature classes, in the debates um, that they were there. Sheka, just a minute. I, I don't know if it is my network which Be is. Us, uh, you, you. I don't know if it is my connection, but I would love for you to to, to please come again on the issue of uh, the English and why it is necessary. Because I think I lost you. I just need to be sure that they did not lose you. It was important. I can hear you. I can hear you. I hear you. I was trying to say that we need to to teach our children. Engage them in in, in talks. Get them in debates. They should be able to express themselves audibly, confidently. No, they don't fear anyone. Na ye uzibu wetulina oruji orwe ingiza after university. For example, after the eh, uh, kangande which Muslim school? Kaboa Hidaya. From Kaboa Hidaya. <laughs> why, why did you choose my school? <laughs> <laughs> you would resonate. Targeted me on this. <laughs> you would read the <laughs> and then from Kabawa to Virari, Islamic Institute from Virari to IU IU. Those are the schools I am telling you. That is for our families. Clear cut. Me, I had to beg my father, Nemka, but then I am begging you. I have gotten a government sponsorship. Let me go to Makiri. Nenga Nali Mani I am going to where? To IU IU. So yo, I have seen IUIU students. Abalunji. Not that all of them are not okay. Abana Bamu Bafu they are Polish. They went to good schools. In the middle there, they went to good schools and then maybe they went and also uh, found good courses and good teachers and they mentored them into very good people. Nenga Abamu Abana Bafibetia. Abamu Betia. And then when you come into this workplace, already uh, there is a problem. You are already a woman, but now you are Muslim. There is no way you're going to deny the fact that you are Muslim. When they look at the veil, they are looking at a Muslim, a Muslim oh. woman. Okay? And now you cannot run away. And, and, and for us who do it by choice, it is a point of modesty. This is who I am. I am not scared to be a Muslim, to put on a hijab, but there is more I am bringing to the table. In terms of skills more than this hijab, and therefore we should compete equally, and therefore be qualified equally. And we get this on merit. So this right. is what happens. Right. So when I get this job, and I have earned it as a Muslim, how are you behaving in this place? It is so sad until oh, you endure the, 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 the they call it uh, the prejudice of Kakaya. And then you don't take it upon yourself to prove people that I am actually better than Kakaya. Okay? I can do much more. And then you start engaging yourself in in Bintubia Bumbi, Bintubia, Ebi Vumisachi. 
the rest of the Muslim yet when I was a little bit of but a baby can baby call on the way to the normal but when a Muslim I have almost sit down with one and not to be almost sit down with one that a mother tell us that is what will happen now before that is the Muslim I ain't get the car I did a car for you more you are going to be a good one for the 25 you're going to get married you must get a man and get married. They will be able to get a Okay? Now, when she gets to the workplace, and the man, there is a contribution. Instead of saying, I have my friends, I am a witness. Sit home, you're not going to get away. Uh-huh. Now they have their own reasons why some of them they say we'll take care of you some good men have maintained because of course that is the whole thing if you feel like she won't do it and you want to take it's your choice for example they are what they call conditions of marriage submitting in the issue of marriage that is the condition that you agreed upon you two and you must meet the end of the bargain. That you're raising awareness. That is a lot of awareness. You're going to cause us trouble. No, 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 no. These things we need to understand them. I am not raising awareness, but we must agree. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Ojakola, ojakola. Nga muta andiko muto also karuja one azalo mana maternity leave neta andika na muga katinzava na tuke na kwa chuo mleke romkozi de 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 yeah these are the things that are going to start happening. I mean that is the point that concerns us. Mleke romkozi. Okay, Sheka. Now I'm going to give you our version. Let me tell you something. So you, you can you can let me understand uh, how you interpret it. Okay. When I set out to marry, nenga angenda kuwasa, ndi mukuzimba maka. Na fe tunayo yetu gumba mukalicha ya fe. First of all, then ngawa sira mo, makaga seka gundi, makaga haji gundi, masika gumu sira mugundi. And and you are the mother. Kati singa tu mule kilo mukozi. What is happening to the generation we are working for? That is our mm. argument. I don't know how yeah. you want us to really rise above. I mean above that. Mm. <laughs> but no. you, you could help the men watching this and the there women on how to handle it. There is no problem, but you know that in this contemporary world, it is now very hard to have a man working alone, and he is the only person who is fending for the family. Yeah, and with this, with this norm of fankehu mata bala kumina nisa imath na watla thawaruba, you can marry one, that's two, three, four, and mm -hmm. and you have to to be just between all of them. It is very, very hard facing the pressure and the demands of this uh, uh, of the home. And uh, whenever that stops, then it means a woman has to go and faint. You understand? Whether by business, whether by work. And you know what is happening? Baga no kubera in this corporate world, and they take them in the business enterprises, entrepreneurial world, but that is also corporate in a way. She's working. And the mateka gafugeri neno gigafugayu. It is the same. Because she is now becoming an entrepreneur, a business manager. Era mateka gigam. Bobango mukiriza. Nga context nunji. Tagenda kola minimongu java. Jijiri haire fiziko. Tagenda kwe wanika wagu. Walue minimonga mizibu. Nga ugamba. Eh, mkazi guna anagu sobole. You get it. If it um te gumwe buranga mukazinga, sobolo kusigalanga mukazinga, sobolo kumi tinga the some of of of, of the conditions. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Now we meet. Now we meeting. Then that should not be a problem. Then let us allow this person go and work. To leme kuba to isla ko kazito, and then we fail to fend for them because that is where the problem comes. And you know. Whenever you ask them to sit down, that's the first step of breaking marriages. That is why we get people starting to that is what happens. Shekhar, Shekhar, Shekhar. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I need to, to make a point clear here a little bit. 
and uh, I don't know if mm. we shall be able to find um, to draw a line or like find a solution, but mm. the, the raising awareness awareness is also another uh, contribution towards like like mm. uh, evolving. Mm. I think that we're mm. holding on to our desire to establish a family because in the in the, in the African setting, family still matters. Okubanti muine chika ne mpisa kaka chache e yakuma e chike echo yaringa mama e yakuma ga family yaringa makati mama mupia. Transition. My my appeal and my humble question. I don't know if you have something to comment about it. The mm. question is. What should we do? Mm. Or to, to be fun of your own be because the poor girl could be few of your own be. And in most marriages that we food, either you have this or that, so we don't mm. want to choose. What should mm. we do? I pose this question to you, Shekhat, as our guest and to the viewers. We should be contributing. Mm. You can all start commenting and share with us. How can we help a woman mm. be the mm. mother she should be? And also be mm. as mm. she studied. Remember, mm. how can we make life easy for her? This is the whole mm. point. Mm. I think, for me, in my opinion, <clears throat> I think we need to understand the challenges of of, of a woman at home. Nti mama, nti ataya galokola, chetim sanya chetimwe mirembe. That is number one. Understand the person you're dealing with. Some people they cannot sit there without working. Ne wano kolo tia gena musa ngata dea akadale wele. Omugamba atule waka ngata dea akadala. Atunda mbio. Some of the the things that you don't want to, for maybe for her. I've seen this with my mama, my, my, my real mother. She really wanted to work and... Well. But uh, daddy would not uh, maybe find something for her because, of course, she wasn't so educated. But mommy could do anything like Omsanga, Atunda, Kabeji, Atunda Manda, Atunda Vikande, Atunda Chi in her, in her position. But what I am trying to, 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 to drive at, I want to take it. Take it up, yeah, yeah, gala. They make better plate of egos. I'm telling you, she will, you know, but don't forget your responsibilities. The challenge is, they forget their responsibilities. Those are the things. No, I, I, I've talked to some men, and I will give you how they look at it. I've talked to some men and they're like, "Come, chala bata ni koko la." Fulan to inamu so so no more can I be coerced by men. So the, the, the thing is, come chala bata ni sente ayagala akulage nti to ina nyo nsonga. So engeli je yeti so vuna nizibwa yeti se yeti se more ka na yeti ka. How do you respond to that? Check it. Did you hear me? Uh -huh. You are no. defending women. You understand? <laughs> you are you have authority. Oh They are women, by the way. I have I know some women, and they are very good wives, and they are working by ministers. You understand? Me, I saw it once with Hajat Said Abumba before the, the late husband yeah, she would so kneel down nasa vinga bawe we were in a, a congregation god we were eating and then she was kneeling down now bawe mary no la banga she is remaining a wife even if she has the bodyguards outside there about about cause so i what i am trying to to drive at in chi om kaze ngeli jomu kwata jagendo kutambula Remain with your responsibility. Walla ine wana afuna zenka na zitu ya kusigaranga kwe mwami. Nebu lwajia ko obo zivu, obo vuna anji zivu, obo katonda wea kuwa. You are taking away what God gave you. Omkazo gena buku mwe waganya zako afuke wa waguru. Yet wadakola, you agree on principle. Did you know what? 
Bosi kala ngo kola biyo kola. You remain a husband of Ojaret, si biya gala. You understand? Mm -hmm. Banga mati, omri mo gwande, sa wazi no wazi ti wazi di. Maten sa bompe mwaka, maybe we shall adjust this. Or I will change it. The workplace, you get it, and I get something comfortable. And and this I have not seen on women on Muslims alone, even non-Muslims. I have a friend, young uh, my former boss, my former boss, Lagamba, who's not no kudayon in the Bamalaika, you know, kudayon in the Babana Vange, the Baneba. You understand, Ganewo forty eight or yes, could they were knocking off Tajashi Kukurida? They have they know that. Nay. Mureme kwe Jacobu Funani Ziba, when Emsure, when Nagamba, Nakoma, and Gonize, Kagaman, and Mutami, and yet you also know that when these women work because they are fast thinkers, you are going to cook driving. These women are going to drive, you know, Wango Charo, the Kwaki number, Bidialo, the Quezimba. A lot to collection, to collect to collect to collect. These are women who are going to give you ideas. You understand? Because they, I have... they are all working and they feel they can contribute. Yeah, I have uh, many contributions, uh, contributions I, would, I would love to make on these points, very strong opinions, but this session is for women. We need to understand their challenges, so I will not over... <laughs> uh, uh, what we are talking about, I see many people have just joined, many comments. Right now, in general, Yemchala, Yemchala in the corporate well mm -hmm. but now we are at a point where we're talking about the challenges mm. I, think I think we should read some of the comments they're interesting and they are okay we're going to, <laughs> we're going to read them. yes <laughs> very we're going, we're going yes. to read the comment and uh, yes. uh, uh let me just give a brief for those ones who have just joined to the cool point challenges is um child i'm a corporate world over um child watch the tumulava Ngatetu pasomesa is marriage. So mm. some it seems like marriage ye no gotaji tete zekena kusiga lange suffocating ava na wala eva kidnapping mm. away from the scene. Mm. Ngateva la mika. Mm. And check at mm. and other uh, ladies I see in the chat are helping us men and the whole yeah. society understand what this is. So check yeah. at has any comment to your attention? Yes. Uh, Zulaika Binti Isa, and uh, there was someone, Joelia, someone is Hark. I think they were mentioning something about respect and also not forgetting uh, roles, Zabachala, that we know color, fundamental roles. No, no, I think that is where the point of contention comes from. She mentioned in the earlier, it is a point of agreement. To Kanye Burundi, to the Mexico Sissimugua. Abama Bachala can cobuli. Obaga no cola, no fruma no gendo cole or the man. Nena fruma genda cole. Nakubaza. Every day, Akubaza. Akola. Somewhere I know. <laughs> Some of these things. Nea gendanga committing a zambi. Why? Because Timbaut amokiriza. Watch the gate. But when we are able to sit down and agree in Nanga Sikola Zambi. Bembani now and so as a number, you know, and can see Kaga day. Watch the gate. And you are comfortable to come and see what I do, how, how I work, you know, what I do. And, and one of my engagements, I must tell you, when my boss had to engage me late, I asked him, Can you please call my husband and tell him that you. <laughs> Ogenda ku holdinga one for this bagamanti. No, I will have to go home. Are you there, Ashraf? Hello. Hello. Okay, I think we have the network. Ashraf, are you there? Hello. Ashraf, are you here? Okay, I'm, I'm back. I'm sorry. I think uh, something has had gone wrong, but I'm sure you've been carrying on, right? It's very hard for me to talk when the host is not there. <laughs> no, it is okay. It is, it is, it is in order. <laughs> we trust your, all your yeah, ideas, I, Michelle. Yeah. I'm sorry, viewers, and I'm sorry. Uh, my uh, what I was trying to, to my network. Mm -hmm. 
Mrs. Please Zoe. go ahead. Uh, Padenga, someone mentioned about a point of agreement that I was speaking up to Kanye to Abachara to Garenga to many our role as women at home. Uh, at Abachara and the what I know for real, except in the Katunda where I come to Mamuzi. Abachara was the interzab. If you talk of Yabachara, be torn on your big wire man. Go all is Okuzimba Kalina Omukazi Yagara, Jagara Kugulan Tebe, Jagara Kugula Fringi, Jagara Kulash, and Interadia Waka. You understand? But I'm not all as a rent, what I suppose of Nambez. So I guess, I guess, uh, number B and number seven should come earlier to motivate you guys to into, into thinking about <laughs> no. <laughs> No, they are like things might not be the same, which I hear commonly here in Uganda. We have been driving more to fair somehow, and that's when they start thinking about emancipating themselves. Nayenga, uh, most of the time, what we do you know, is for our homes, for our children. You understand? Good health care, good dear Navi Yamba Mami Waka to ease the pressure. Watch the gate. I tell you about what the devil runji na ye. Nay said a zig zim gaydam no zim takeam. Nay was the manga na ye. Yeah, for real. They are very. We want to all the ladies <laughs> shake it and all the ladies yeah. i like your enthusiasm <laughs> i like the way you're so passionate about defending what you want we shall have a talk strictly about this inshallah shake it. i hope you will bless us with yeah. another presence on our platform yeah. but uh mm -hmm. we are talking about the, the challenges in the corporate world we talked about uh, the, the the stereotypes like the mm -hmm. many bosses cannot raise above the veil like they can't go beyond that. Then we talked about how marriage really kind of uh, um, what, what, um, yeah, yeah, it is becoming really a mm. challenging bit. Mm. We could look at other challenges, inshallah. Then you 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 will bless us with a few suggestions on how to go about all these challenges. The ethical code. Uh, mm. We are supposed. Uh, to observe the ethics of the workplace. Kakati, some of, of, of our problems is when we go in the workplace, majority of course, because we are only 14%, when we go in the workplace, no sangayabantungasiva sidam, how do you coexist? Mm -hmm. How do you observe the ethics? Right, Aban, to Bakuana, but here, or Limi Ruo, not sidam. You know, of Sidam Wangi, you understand. And when you decide to speak to them, speak to them nicely and don't offend. Some people offend others with Islam. You get it. And then when you enter in a, an office in Gagum Sidam, they don't feel so nice. Eh? I feel people should be happy with my presence. Kari and Gom Sidam. Because they will do it to any other person anyway. But when it becomes to a Muslim, chisu kirida, chisu kirida. Yeah. So, so the, point, the point is here, I want to understand you whether our child, our Islam, our Muslim, our Tuka Kumurimu, ate atwala yo nyo kagamba e attitude. But ita, but ita kwa gala ku, ku, ku winning a favor, it is like a cheap popularity. I am a Muslim. No, no, no. And, no. You make the issue of prayer a bigger problem in a workplace. You get but it. But again, take it. Uh, uh, please help us. I mean, understand how to balance this because mm. other Muslim ladies, other Muslims, would mm. quit practicing mm. Islam and advocating for their rights and being Muslims at the workplace, mm. while others I, go and. Be, mm. So how do we handle this? Because uh, mm. we need to understand how to go about this. In your opinion. Mm. Uh, no, the issue of, of, of joining is a point is a point of confidence and entering into workplace. When masters they wanting end up in gira uh or cola. 
Nienda genda yo straight headed that I am a Muslim and I am better than just a veil. I'm just I'm better than just uh, a hijab that I am putting on and I have other issues that I am bringing on to the table. And then I should be recognized. The moon recognizing a chance of color. I have first prejudice in my practice and well, I, I, I forgive people. See, see, she told and you don't in your get a call, knock ramba. You know, I was seeking employment, and the Chinese told me, Do you wear like that every day? And I am like, Okay, did you listen to what I said? Because I, 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 I observed that he was just looking at how I was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I was talking to I get it. Okay, mm -hmm. but that could not stop me from looking for another place elsewhere. Mm -hmm. You get it. So when I got it, and 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 I, bebagam, eh, hechara ha, wakaka, I am sidam. Okay, but I am better than just a veil. I'm, <laughs> I'm better than just a Muslim. I am just an HR. I am a practitioner, and and look at what I'm bringing at the table. If it makes sense, I think that's it. And and I should be recognized by that. And I don't want tokenism. Temumpa, tumwe husna, tumwe bambi, musidam. I don't want tokenism. I want to earn what I have. I, I I have earned because I have worked for it. You understand? So at the point of right. of confidence is an issue of moral values. What what you believe in, and and that should not go away. Until we bang enam interview, to obaka kaya kachu se, obang kole we anti, but I was at obang prejudicing again and akakaya. Bakumanyento oli musidam. Bakuo muli monga bachi manyento oli musidam. Ntitojia kuchuka from Monday to Sunday. And you don't want, you don't have to try hard to look like them. Okay? That one is out. Be, be better choi no kubera. Nga it is your personal value. And if they talk about it jokingly, smile about it. You don't have to defend it. You don't have to talk about it. You know what? We are the right religion. Yeah, don't have a yeah, yeah, you're right. But right here where they have a right to talk about it, just know that we we are few and we are up to something. Like we we have a mission that if someone likes me and is a Christian and now in Kerala that is a plus for me. That's a good start. I like the way you handle yourself. I like the way you dress. By the way, these days they like the way we put on because to turn them more would they to look smart and professional. <laughs> and I want to wow, I want to recognize the young women who are putting yeah, in an I, effort. I will, I, will, I will also acknowledge that. I mean, I, I think I should be the first sheikh I don't know, I know of to appreciate mm. uh, the Muslims for really mm. trying hard to Anadala mm. later style mukalcha yawe. Mm. importing something, but to to have their own hijab and very smart. I give mm. that to them. Yeah. Mm. Mashallah. And now when you have but we have to pray about it every day. I Allah You have to keep asking Allah to give you that amid these challenges. Bomalok chief nature, go so again a kumulimungo, Kolango, Yamba Dakakayango, Fulmanogan, and Osala, not a wa yo. Okay? No, but what I can go when I again of Sala come out. But again, then Sola becomes yeah. a problem. You understand? And you know, there is something that they said you should not abuse those who, uh, you know, Ababera Abantunga, but I back Kiriza you know, Yokiriza, and then they abuse you or they abuse your religion. No, there, is, there is a verse. There is a, it is a verse in the Holy Quran. Yeah. Mm. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That is the verse. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to be very careful on how what we say and what we respond when they say those things. And then we protect ourselves you understand we protect ourselves and our dean and you don't um, you don't know you are actually uh attracting someone to your religion let us try to observe the ethical code it works on us 
nga you are the one who is in charge of money bana yete mba resist the temptation of money ebye bisinzo kuleto obuzibu ditemute mudamu kugeya geya nga bantu grape vine ne mudamu mulugamba olutategerekeka you concentrate on your key performance indicators ashraf are you with us ashraf Usna, it's really hard to prove sometimes beyond the kakaya, but as you have said, we have to start with hijab from day one. And yes, people have started appreciating our outfits. May Allah make it easy for us, inshallah. Oh, Ashraf, Sheikh Ashraf, you are out of touch. I hope you get back soon. So is... Uh, I really want to appreciate you, Joeria. Thank you for the active uh, conversation. I have been following you. It is very interesting. Um, thank you so much. Uh, you went off, but we were talking about... Are you back online? Okay, yes. Ashraf, are you back online? Okay. Hello. The network is a bit challenging. character values etiquettes. You have individual to fit in a society. Yeah. And Ashraf, are you back online? Well, I don't know. Ashraf, uh, it is hard for me to proceed when, uh, Ashraf, you're not online. I don't know whether viewers are listening in or you are able to see us. I think uh, our host has been challenged. Hello, Ashraf. Okay, someone is saying we can proceed. Uh, I think Ashraf, you will join in. Uh, someone said, Vionavi Tandikana character values and etiquettes you have individual to fit in, you have as an individual to fit in the society. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are so sorry. If you can hear me and see me, please say something. We're trying to fix something here, please. Uh, Shekhar is going to come back. I understand I got some challenges myself. But um, as we wait for her, I hope you're enjoying the whole discussion. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. It is interesting. And uh, myself, I'm impressed. Yeah. Uh, let me see if um, uh, Shekhar is back. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Technology, my brother. <laughs> All right. I hope okay. I... Can we continue? I think someone is saying we can go ahead. All right. I was trying to comment on what someone said that it starts with the values, etiquettes. Uh, I cannot agree more. That is so true. But the issue about coping is key. How are you coping? Are you coping as a Muslim or as the friends you have found there that you want to, to resonate, you want to be the same? And that's when we get out of context. 
Not only coklavang in Yambalechu saying, No, you're not comfortable in who you are because you're trying to assimilate yourself to the workplace. But it is challenging sometimes to gain a netubura, or losing a truly brazing a new netugonza new of Sidam, netugamba. Oh, oh, I think I have to do this, I have to do this. We get out of context, and I think that is what makes the whole thing bad, and, uh, and people start shunning it, and they're like, Umchala Wagende, yo, I you know, Neka. She becomes something else. I think we must be very careful about how we we cope. Uh, Ashraf, are you with me, my dear? Because I am somehow, I guess, somehow lost when you're not there. Ashraf? Oh, no. As Muslim ladies, we cannot maintain our hijab. I don't know where the problem comes from. The problem comes from the wanting to cope. Looking as smart. Uh, trust me, you will look smart in your hijab. But you will look smarter when you think smarter. That is the most important thing. I kept on talking, Ashraf. Uh, because uh, I realized we got lost, but viewers should forgive us. We will do better next time. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, 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 I'm yes. not worried. I trust the Muslim man. You could handle this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was also on and off. Uh, I was not yeah, comfortable it, when I was the only person talking. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I understand. I it had become uh, your partner yeah, but, in this long mm. journey and this long talk mm. uh, so i will uh, mm. i will just let all viewers understand that we are almost done because we wanted to be here for just an hour uh, yeah. because of work issues and the the, yeah. the way the topic is so interesting i i think we haven't mm. said anything mm. so check out first of all before we proceed <laughs> no. I'm going to ask you that mm. we need to host you again mm. and again because I, I have received a number of requests <laughs> that you should keep on showing up mm. the ladies are so excited the men are okay. very uh so that is the request mm. i need to pass before we go any further so if yeah. you might uh, please wind up and uh, we we call it okay. a day please before i go off okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay all right um <clears throat> i am so happy by all those that contributed i kept mentioning some zulaika mentioned that uh we we are not persistent that is so true I mentioned it when you're offline that we need to make sure that at least we be who we are, we be smart in whatever we show. Actually, someone said they remove the hijab because they think they are not smart. But I think the smartness should not be just for hijab. The, the upstairs smartness yeah. is what yeah. matters. Yeah. What matters? I have a friend of mine. Actually, I want to call her a friend of mine. She's called Asha, if you know her. She she is an activist, Asha Adrush. I don't know her, but I like her. She is disabled. She is a little person, but she is not scared of who she is. She puts on her hijab very nicely and smartly, and she's sitting in a wheelchair. I am so sorry, Asha, I have to talk about you, but you inspire me in one way or another. But those who oh, know no, her we, will we tell you that she is... 
you have to ask her. <laughs> no, you will have to ask her. You will love how what she has. <laughs> yeah, we shall, we shall you will that. love what she has to tell you. She is a very good person. But the, those who know her will tell you that she's a very smart thinker. She is a very good accountant, and I, I, I want to know that first, not to know everything else. You understand? So as I wind up, I would like to implore my young sisters. I would first of all, I would call upon my brothers, my counterparts, <laughs> to kirizet <laughs> tuino kukanya. Singa tukanya, nti abachala wakole. Naye bakola chi tuchiregulating empola empola. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then abachala tumanye nti we our first role is a mother, a wife. You understand binevida it's miscellaneous. But if it comes in, it is coming to make your lives easier. But how do we cope? Because even at the workplace, we haven't talked about issues of sexual harassment, of issues of quitting. It is a slippery flow. No. We need to come back to this one. They are very, they are very important, actually. If we did mm. not talk about that, please, if mm. you may agree, uh, we have mm. to come back and continue this conversation because I yes. believe. Mm. That is an issue. I've had it a lot. I don't know where it comes from, but it happens. Yeah. Yeah. They, they quit, and then when they quit, they feel like kwe gamba ulira amale banga ngatakola. Then when you can't want to come, there is a very big discrepancy, a big gap. Okfuno muli mungo a long period of unemployment in my profession, HR. Our waba wazibu, you need to explain so much at home so it is very important that we keep actively working businesses it is okay it is keeping you working and keeping something on your hand it is going by you doing that you are showing your children what you want to be and you're becoming a role model you're the first role model something Naba wala na equally the same. Omrenza leme close anti I no kola. Omuwala yeta ina kola. They have they don't have to struggle equally. At a pumba training em in media waka, you're giving them already a skill, a completion of tasks. Mu inok marach no mobudo, inok kat who is better at doing it at the workplace than a woman? We are the very best managers, by the way. Globally. Our child, they are the best managers. That woman thinks like a man. Now it means that men are the ones who are supposed to be managers. Why can I not think like a woman in my own right? Or watch the data. <laughs> yes, that, that is, <laughs> that is an wish, issue. I so, really wish we had uh, a, a lot of time because I, I feel like Something is pushing me to challenge you and challenge the ladies to their best on in this yes, discussion. But thank you but for having I will, me. That I will reserve my, my, my comments. I will reserve my okay. <laughs> my <opinion. laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. Please go ahead. Uh, oh, you still got giving me time. <laughs> I thought we have concluded, but let me conclude with this. There are two kinds of workplaces. The Islamic workplace that makes you very comfortable and the non-Muslim workplace or non-family that is making you uh, feel like you have to prove yourself and there you feel you have two chances, either to quit or to succumb. Please don't give up. Where you feel uncomfortable, it is pushing you to think and be challenged. Don't give up, aspire for better. Go on. Compete for the best. Compete for that role that you that, that you're scared of. That so and so is sitting there. You compete. Do your things right. It will get. It will get to you. And also, don't forget to upgrade yourself in skills and in education because chances come for those who are prepared. They don't just come from heaven and say so and so in an undergraduate. Please add something onto you. Add value onto you. Even if it is a certificate. Even if it is a skill, when chances come, they will find you ready and you will go. And that is where our con our, our counterparts were but could be day. Our but could be dab and our soma. Nagan of two kind of president's appointment. So and so has our summit. Kaya na. Nafabana basoma. Basoma chi. What is the requirement of the job? You understand? We should not compete when we have this qualification. You know, you know, I will make okay. a confession, David. Yes. I, I'm I'm listening to the next speaker. I don't know for which parliament, but 
Uh, I'm hoping that <laughs> you think oh, about God. it. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, I there don't is, know. There is, uh, there is a Rahma somewhere. She's saying, Mashallah, what a smart woman. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. But we have to face the, the, the truth. Our truths, we have to face them. That's the only way we are going to overcome. If we don't face our realities and truths, they are not going to give us. We have to look for these things. We have to struggle. They know so and so and so. It is easy for them. But it is not easy for us. And we will get those things, I'm telling you. We will get them. But when they start looking for something for women, for men, this will be the same, same person. They will be the same, same people. No new faces. I mean, because it sounds like you want, me, you want me there as well, right? Please. I want new faces, new blood, fresh blood. But these people, our women, our young women, they're not aspiring. They are not aspiring. But who can ever go back? No, go to the Navivaco, Castana Genda Mulivu, Castana Colawedi, Abana, Abana. You can do it. You can do it. There is a lady called Sophie Mbeke Kashi. I started with her. I am sorry I'm speaking so much. Now, Somana Yenga, she's ahead of me. I, I looked at her profile. She was being profiled somewhere. And she said, Yazala Abana Bana Miakejo. Ena. She was working. She was everything. Kati, she is very young there and she's eating her things. You understand? But she persisted. I worked with her at a given point and I was like, Wananga, this woman, how does she do it? But she did it. Right now, Tubego, Batuga, Mbabato, Bato. Nahenga, they had to persist amid this trouble. So we have to fight twice as hard. Our sword is Saifu Dhuhadain. It has two, you know, it's a double edged sword. We have to to fight. Thank you so much. Great, great, <laughs> great, great, wonderful. I mean, yo, yo, <laughs> I, I love the energy. I love uh, the passion mm -hmm. with which you are speaking. And I love the fact that you have the Islamic perspective as a shekhat and also the corporate life. You've lived it. You are still energetic. You've inspired people. Uh, Faidat Abdul Wahab uh, is saying, I love the ideas and the energy and uh, there is uh, Zulaika is saying, I like uh, Shekhat. Let me see. Thank you. I Thank like you Shekhat so much. Hey, <laughs> I, like, I think she says she wants to be like you. I don't know when she grows Inshallah. up. I Inshallah. Inshallah. I wish Allah <laughs> keeps giving me the wisdom and protects me as well. I mean, Ya Rab. So, our members, mm -hmm. our viewers, we are really honored that you've kept with us for all this long. I mean, we are past, way past. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Half an hour past the time we promised, but we hope you enjoyed, and we hope mm. uh, uh, that that we shall have more engagements and more interactions with Shekhat Husna and the likes of her, inshallah, in the near future. Uh, let me join. Uh, let me represent the viewers now to thank our okay. our guest, mm. uh, Shekhat Husna Natkunda. Uh, I've known her for a very very long time, and trust me, when I sat down to think about someone who can do better, I could not think beyond her. I just I was so convinced she was the one to do the job. So, Shekhar, I will give you uh, uh, a minute at least to uh, send a thanks uh, okay. to, to the viewers who say something to, to close. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know you well, are yeah. the good you yeah. and our mom, and I thank yeah. you for sharing the, the legacy yeah. movement. Yeah. Okay. Um, for me, I, I always want to thank my, my parents. I thank Allah first that he gave me uh the the energy he gave me life he continues to to feed me and and to guide me in whatever i do i pray every day for for wisdom i pray for ilm every day i pray for i pray, I pray for ikhlas i pray for everything as i pray for people around me my families but i want to thank my parents Allah i pray for my dad that dad that dad you know my dad I think he did a lot in the kind of person that I am, and even my my, my siblings. Allah uh, Saste, kumanga te yarim somiwa bine bintu biyansi na yebiyagalanyo. 
and they gave me choice. Wanga ye ya yaga la mbele, chitala ni nimga za dadi echo chonja gali za sicha aga. Mia, I want this because of A, B, and C. Naga, if that is what you want, it is okay, kanku sabiti. So parents have to pray for, uh, for their children. But I also want to thank my teachers. I, I want to thank them every time that I, I, I speak. At every stage, I have people who have influenced me. I always shine a light on them. I, I, could, I pray Allah have a good health and wealth. I pray for the people who have entrusted me with their businesses. I've worked with businesses. And these people have also nurtured me in a way. They have taught me things. They have given me life experiences. I, I thank them because in whatever interesting, maybe I would not be able to speak confidently about these experiences. So I thank them and I ask Allah to continue blessing them. And I also ask our viewers to pray for us and as we pray for you to be better, <laughs> such that we continue inspiring. And it is a responsibility for every one of us. Don't be, don't underestimate anything. You never underestimate anything good that you have to do. You may inspire someone. If it is a sister that looks up to you, be careful. Be careful what you do in front of them. Be careful what you say. Always know that there's someone who is listening in who is actually looking up to me. Thank you so much, Ashra. One, one word. One word. Yes. Uh, for the main, yeah. what would it be? Oh, for the main, oh. oh. You love us. Patience. We love you too. Patience. <laughs> Patience with women, please. Uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I love the way you, you chose your words. That, that yeah. is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Rifkan, yeah. when he Rifkan. was there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shekhar. We Thank you. Shall have to end it here, but inshallah, we shall come back soon. Thank you very inshallah. much, everyone, for being viewed and following. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.